His words in my mouth and meditation of our hearts to be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, our strong walk and our humor. Amen. Amen. Well, isn't this ironic? This is my last official day of work. <laughs>
and he was preaching on the word becoming flesh the Sunday after Christmas. And he said, now I want all of you, anybody sitting next to another human being, reach out, touch that person, touch profound flesh, touch what God became, touch each other. And he said he said that. And then after the service in the line, he's shaking hands, and suddenly he's shaking hands with N.G. Wright, the world-renowned professor of New Testament. I to talk to you everybody to understand what the word of the flesh is all about. But the truth is, we humankind have been given sublime dignity by the God who wears our flesh. And I think our best Christmas response is to continue to look upon every human being as the sacramental reality they are. Every human being, all human flesh, because of God incarnate, has become sacramental. And as the Eastern Orthodox say, when you meet another human being in your mind, you need to ring a bell and say, Behold the image of God. The Word became flesh, creating all of us humankind. Whether we're in prison, whether we're refugees, whether we're successful, whether we're failures, all human flesh, all human flesh is a sacrament of the God who took on our flesh. And secondly, remember what was said early on, in him all things were made that were made. Everything in creation is a sacrament. Creation is not object for us to own. It's a sacrament for us to be stewards of. All things were made through him, and without him was not anything made that was made. So today, Christmas 1, is the day for all of you tree huggers. It's your day. All of you that just love your cats. It's your day. All things were made through him, and without him was not anything made that was made. Therefore, all of this glorious creation is a sacrament of him who is word in the flesh, even Jesus Christ. Trees, the oceans, teeming with life. This creation is sacrament. This creation is not object for us to manipulate and own. It is sacrament for us to guard as stewards of him through whom all things were made and without whom nothing was made. Therefore, all things in a sense reek with a kind of Christmas sacramentality. So, with a few thoughts in your minds, let us continue to worship in adoration. The word made flesh, then 